hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're just subscribing and you just see me my name is ifoma onumba welcome to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for sticking with me thank you so in this video i'm going to be introducing you guys to a new series i'm starting on my youtube channel it's called let's talk with Ifoma and friends i'm going to be inviting some of my friends we'll be talking about every topic and any topic either trendy topic or whatever we'll just be talking guys trust me it's going to be very interesting and let me tell you this is officially the first episode of the series so guys, I'll be introducing my friends to you guys shortly. Please do watch this video to the end. Thank you. Please welcome to Let's Talk with Ifoma and her friend. <laughs> oh yeah, introduce yourself quickly, quickly. Hi guys, my name is Chisum and I'm Ifoma's friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, this is my friend Chisum, and Here. I've not seen her in a while. One thing this country does is that everybody, I feel like everybody in this country is just busy. Nobody yeah. really has like time to you know meet up. And, and then when you're when you're busy, the other person is not busy. busy. When you you're understand? Not busy, the other is busy. busy. And before you guys get time to see each other, you have to like really, really like make time. Some people like have like shifts, yeah. and oh, I have a shift today. I don't have a shift today. Before you know it, you know, see the person. But then she was able to like make time to come and see me, and I really appreciate it. So, how has it been for you in the UK since you moved? Has it been hectic, you know, with accommodation, everything? Because she's actually schooling here as well. But she's rounding up this um, September, Abby. Mm -hmm. So how has it been for you lately? Um, I think generally God has been faithful to me because yeah. I've seen a lot of people cry about their school fees, cry about a lot of things. But well, I can't complain because it has been easy, like yeah. to an extent. When it comes to job issues, mm, that one is on that level. It's not easy to actually get a job in the yeah, UK. It's not, easy. it's not easy, especially when you're a student because you have other people that have, they can work for like 100 hours, but as a student, you're only limited to like 20, 20 hours. hours. So yeah. it's like a barrier to people that are actually looking for jobs. But like in other aspects, like when it comes to housing, everything, my landlady is like the best. I literally got my base. I told you now, yeah. from Nigeria before I, got, before I got into the UK. So it was like, that one was like um, easy for just the job issues that my problem but mm. God is in control. God is in control. God, God will control. do something. God will do something. So I have always heard that mm. here in the UK is always very hard to find love. Like coming from Nigeria. Like you know, <laughs> it's always I've, I've coming heard, from people I've, that stay in Lagos. You understand? Like I've heard it from like not one, not two, not mm. three. Like even online. Aside from hearing it one on one from somebody, yeah. I've heard it like online. People will say, Oh, it's very hard. Kini, kini, kini. So, has it been the same for you, like in terms of finding love? Not <laughs> terms they rush me. Not them they rush me. Yes, I okay, find um, you. <laughs> it's not hard. Like, I'm, I'm comparing but it is to Is it Lagos from your though? own? Yes, because I think it's subjective. Do you mm. get another person might say, Oh, it's hard for me. It's going to be hard for a lot of people because we don't we don't have time to go out. Yeah, if you that's go out, you meet that's people. True. Go for house parties. I don't go. My own is on Instagram. Shop. <laughs> Let me know online. <laughs> but the thing is, just try to mingle because I think for me, I, I always compare to like somewhere else, like UK and Lagos. Trust me, I will definitely choose this place to Lagos. Are you serious? This is the first too. to to eh? This is the first time I'm eh? hearing people always like eh? prefer guys that are in Lagos than Nah, I prefer guys here. Are you serious? Trust me. Yeah, I prefer guys here. Okay, definitely she's actually talking from her own personal experience uh -huh. and everybody had their own yeah. perspective. Do you understand? This is actually like the first time I'm hearing that someone prefers I prefer her actually. Lagos. Are you serious? Yeah. Well it works for it works for people in different ways, you know? You can come here and maybe it's be hard for you. you can come here to be easy for another person yeah, to get. Just pray for your path to be easy. Yeah. Because in because everything I do I always put God first because without God uh, ah, yeah, you will flop. Jesus baby That's a pure <laughs> I was going to ask you this question because I saw this question online and I said I'm going to ask you yeah because it was like it, there was a whole lot of back and forth mm -hmm. in the question and I said I was going to ask you when you come do you think 
okay, let's say now you're in a relationship with a man, hmm. then you have like a friend, and then your partner cheats on you without your friend. Wait, let me finish. Because this is your eyes. <laughs> Wait, let me finish. So and your partner okay. cheats on you without your friend. And then you end up, let me say, and you end up forgiving your partner for cheating. Are you going to forgive the girl as well? I won't forgive any of them. Bam. I will block the both of you. Mm -hmm. I will delete you. I will not block. I will just delete your number. Because if I block you, your number will still be on my phone. So I will just delete you. I will delete you for my life. You are dead to me. Like both the guy, you, both the girl. Because in the in the in the in the video that I watched mm -hmm. where they were having like a conversation, they were like one of the girl was like, oh, okay, she's not going to for she's going to forgive the man, but she's not going to forgive Why? forgive the the girl. I feel like you should let two of them go. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. I if feel you're like, not forgiving the both of them, then yes, let the both of them yes. go. I feel like you should let the both of them go because they were two people that decided to do something to, to hurt, hurt you. you. So why are you forgiving one and leaving the other one? I'd rather and forgive my friend. Oh, oh, oops, another angle, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Eh? Men can come and go, but my friends are there forever. So mm. like, mm -mm. let the both of them go. Like oh. that's that's my own. Yeah. I feel like you should let the both of them go because uh, nothing, nothing, nothing to talk about here. That your friend. Can we speak no, evil? No, no, no. Like no, I want no. to sing something <laughs> evil. I want to just leave. Yes. Uh, uh, you know there's this evil song, Amandia Neze. Okay, okay, complete it. Like Amandia, something like that. Amandia uh, Neze. So if, if you don't know people to avoid yes, so if I'm god cool. like openly tells you go oh, avoid this person and then you still put yourself in that shit for that person to hurt you again what you're on your own the same thing will happen again it will happen it so will keep I, happening yeah yeah that's why i feel mm -hmm. because that your friend in question is somebody that you have no longer than that man if not if do, do you get exactly. because most friendships are maybe from even primary school mm -hmm. secondary school and you guys won't go to uni together yeah. then a man that you met maybe one year he go let the both of them go. Let the both of them go. Like Just honestly, go. like honestly. They deserve each other. Yeah. Let's say you mm -hmm. are in like um um a relationship. Yeah. Be it a relationship or a friendship. friendship. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the friendship is toxic, and you're like basically tired of it. Like you have had it up to here. Like I'm done. How do you like cut this kind of people off? How do you like say enough is enough and how do you like put it to an end? Just like I said, I will delete your number. Yeah. Am I having your number thing? Mm -hmm. Like, if you're not for me, you're not for me. Uh, if yeah. it's not working for us, cut me off. Bam. Another angle. Yes. Job things down. Yes. If it's not working for us, you know, aside from the fact that okay i'm mm -hmm. going to quickly cut you off if i feel like you're toxic and everything if you if, if, if both of us are not working and you feel like i'm maybe taking you back or i'm drawing you back exactly cut me cut off cut me off as well what am like, i doing there yes if you feel that mm -hmm. maybe i am the toxic one please kindly cut me off it's fine mm -hmm. do you understand i feel like it's not every friendship it's not every relationship that should be stretched there's there's something that says that like okay 20 people can't be friends for 20 years. I don't know how they said yes. it, but something like that. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, maybe it's only two that will be left. Exactly. You have friends that like last forever. Some people are there to just like yes. through some aspects of life. life. And, and maybe God just put that person in your, in your life to just be there for mm -hmm. like one month. And you, be, being the sweet person you are, you now stretch it out for like, let me see, 10 years. But that person has been doing you like a whole lot of things that you cannot like tolerate so i feel like anything that has to do with toxic mm -hmm. anything that has to do with you know just me my personal my person the way i do mine is that i, I follow you on all social media <laughs> block you on everywhere and um, but if most times like most times i'll no. just unfollow you when, whenever no, no, you wake no, up from your no, snow, no, i just no, unfollow me no, back no i always block i do i always make sure i block like i'm not among the school of thoughts that says oh stay there and watch my progress go and watch another person's progress i wish you the best but don't stay don't look at me if you want to look at me you can stop go cool. but my dear can't they go i'm going to block you every single every single place come there i think i'll start go. doing that too come I'll they go you. come they go because i feel like if i block you and you still want to reach out to me you can 
Do you know? Fake pages. <laughs> if, you, if, I block, if I block somebody and you still want to reach out to me, it's something that is very, very much possible. Do you understand? So it's not. That's when you start saying Pell Coco. Oh. You just. You still want it. <laughs> are you sure? Are I'm you, not like are, that. Are, are you, are, 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 Confession, confess. Oh my God. Also, I feel like that's that's like basically mine. Then when it comes to you know, cause abusive relationships mm-hmm. and no, I'm very I'm going to just be specific because we are women. Yeah. So I'll just ask based on like the um well, our own gender. So why okay. do you feel like that um women stay in abusive relationship? Why do you feel it oh, can be relationship? Oh it marriage. can be a relationship, it can be a marriage. But why do you think that most times women just stay there mm-hmm. and you know suffer all those things? Why do you feel that women okay. stay there? Okay, can I start with relationship? I think um and that's the one you're in now, so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no shade though. The serious are being like that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's you. My money. <laughs> So so I think for um relationship I think it's um women not being self aware. Like mm-hmm. when you're self aware of where of where you who want you to or who you are or where you want to be in the next five years, you should know that being with this man will not help you to get to where you want to no be. No future. No future there. So if if you are self aware, because women think, oh, I'm this, I'm it's, it's not about being woke, it's not about being savage. It's about really being smart, knowing where you want to be. Like knowing that okay, in the next five years, I want to accomplish this with mm. so so person. Like I want my can you raise I want the children my with life this to be here, my and everything. You can get? you raise the children with this person? Exactly. So when you're self aware, you should know that mm. this person is not good for me, and you'll be able mm. to walk away. And again, you need God to to mm. reveal everything to you. Do you understand? Do you need to be prayerful. God. Cause this man the center of everything. God. Cause this man, they are brutal. Mm. <laughs> they will show you shit. <laughs> when it comes to marriage, ah, that one is tough, sha. Mm. Yeah, it's always easy to to give advice. Oh, give the marriage, but it's not easy. You have kids there. You have a lot of things to consider. But then, mm. it's just to have um um friends that would like ginger. You okay, babe? Leave this place. You will meet someone better. Mm. You may don't think okay because you have kids, you will not be able to find someone that will take care of you mm. or love you, mm. or the society is going to laugh. We are here for you. Mm. So it's, it's, That's you mean like a support mm. system. A support system mm-hmm. exactly. Mm. Could be family, friends, and God to share. Yes, God no share and God. Okay, I feel like um some women stay in abusive relationships because of the fact that some are not very financially stable some they don't mm-hmm. have like yeah, businesses that they are doing or maybe anything that they are doing that is bringing them money yeah. into their pockets they are 100 percent dependent and on the husband. man or on their husband so in situations like this you feel like you are stuck they feel like they cannot leave they feel like if i leave oh well my children it's it's very important for you to have like um financial security you know have like money have your own business have something that you're doing that's putting money in your pocket so that in situations like this it will not be that okay it's because the man do is not good. depend it on will not, do you understand like, work hard yes work so hard. i feel like that is one of the reasons why some people don't leave even people that are in relationships mm-hmm. they are 100 percent dependent on their maybe say their boyfriend or something like that and, and they'll be beating them do you understand and if then in marriages i feel like one of the core reasons in marriages if they have kids mm-hmm. some will not want to leave because of their kids yeah. i'm looking at it from a perspective where there are so many people that have died so i feel like most of these men they do not get repentance until you die it's when you die that they'll be like they'll be like i regret, I, I regret this thing i will never do this thing again but she's dead <laughs> can you bring her back is doing justice for do you do Justice for auntie that's already don't died. Like, don't let point. it get to that point. They will, some, some will not stop mm-hmm. until it gets to that point. They will repent on top of the but girl's who head. Them? Who raised them? That's another uh, topic for another day. <laughs> that's a topic for another day. But then, like, don't don't wait for it to get to this point. We have seen, we have seen even the viral ones, the women that have died. Yeah. Do you understand? So why wait for it to get to that point? Why wait for it for your children to be to be motherless? motherless? Yeah why like it's 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 crazy i feel like the first thing is to have financial stability because security, security. yeah 
And if you have that, you can walk away at any goddamn time. God you damn. can walk away. You can at least take care of your children if that uh-huh. is a problem. And I'm always an advocate for, please, in this time and age, let us minimize how many children we are having. I know that sometimes it's... I want to have come, six, sure. Half dozen. Any, eh? Any, I'll, I'll any, one six. Half dozen. <laughs> The Lord will strengthen you. Mm. Like I said, I feel like we should just have like, you know, four tops. So that at least when you're leaving, you'll be like, okay, I can take care of this one. So another thing I feel like is the fact that, you know, the society, the way they look at people that, yeah. you know, are probably divorced. That's I'm talking about in marriage. Yeah, okay. The way they look at people that are divorced. But then, when you die, when you die, those people, they are the ones that will post R.I.P. Just this from hashtag you will just be trending on social media in your grave so why let it get to that point because of what people who is these people who are they they are the ones that will come to the burial and eat the largest portion it's not, that, portion. Easy. it's it's not, not that, that easy but then the i feel are like having that support system maybe. yeah definitely having a good support system is also key because mm-hmm. you're going to see people that you can easily like fall back on them mm-hmm. you know encourage you on what to do mm-hmm. the next step to take you know exactly. but then my dear if it has gotten to the point Leave. of where they want to kill you Leave. please cool. it breaks my heart so anytime i see stuff like that like honestly oh it breaks my heart like it breaks my does. heart it breaks my heart lady. This is not even good day. Like I cried. I don't even know the woman, but I cried. I cried as if I knew her. The woman really suffered. And I heard that. Hold on, guys. Let me quickly put you on. Since my last video, I've been getting like series of questions concerning accommodation, and I understand how hectic it can be. I have been there. But guys, I have decided to put you on on an easy way to get your accommodation. That is if you are a student. By the way, this video is sponsored by Amber Students. Amber Students is literally one of the biggest platforms that offers students accommodation. I'm telling you, it's one of the easiest. They currently operate in over 100 cities. I'm talking across Europe, Australia, and United States. So it's not just limited to people coming to the United Kingdom. One of the things I love about Amber Students is that you are able to get like accommodation in places that are very close to your campus or very close to your school and it's very very easy to use all you have to do is to check their website search then you finalize with one of their executives and then you can just book the place is that simple i'm going to be adding a link in the description box so you can click on the link and you can check them out guys they're going to take away 99 percent of your stress away trust me try them out and thank me later like both the economy is not even helping you know like a whole lot of things are going on if you open the news like this a whole lot of depressing things but aside from that personally how do you deal with depression have you ever been depressed before no you have not been depressed before i don't even do i really get the meaning of depression i don't even know so let's Some check mistake it let's check sadness. let's check the meaning of depression okay. so that you can tell us if it's something that okay. you have felt me i have been depressed wow. so depression is an illness um, characterized by persistent sadness okay. and a loss of interest in activities you normally enjoy it's accompanied by an inability to carry out daily activities for at least two weeks those activities include food right no <laughs> no it's not possible no <sighs> i'll still eat though you. i'll still eat mm. the last time i was like maybe almost depressed but i was not depressed was like I think my after my last relationship, I went under the shower. I started losing my hair because I was so sad. After I losing the hair. I went to make it. I ate. <laughs> well, so you you didn't really I like lost dwell food. in no. it. No, like oh, maybe after you. three weeks, I might remember it, cry, and then go back. Why would okay. I stop eating? Like carrying on no, with your life. Me, but then, meanwhile the man is moving on. <laughs> How mm. dare me? <laughs> How so it is it, it, it actually Have you like seen me? Oh <laughs> like, but then it's actually different for everybody. Uh, and so, aside being um heartbroken when it comes to relationship, it could, it could be money related issues. It can be life. I don't think it I've can ever be life. So that's the point, yeah. Yeah. I feel like 
it's not necessarily mm. like you said yours was just like relationship something that happened that triggered yeah. some kind of sadness so in general i feel like it's a whole lot it can be where your life is at the moment is not where you want it to be it mm -hmm. can be like a whole lot of things yeah. it can be money it can be maybe you being stagnant like a whole lot of things can make you feel depressed and i have been depressed before mine was like constant sadness like it was very hard for me to figure it out and growing up in nigeria where therapy is not something that you yeah. can just stretch your hand and you you see a therapist like the way it is here like, it is having but, but access we don't, we don't like yeah having access to a therapist is not something that is common in nigeria i think it's when, common but we don't believe in it in nigeria i do believe in it but it's uh, not common because okay. i feel like people here mm -hmm. is something that oh any um oh let's go see a therapist but in nigeria Therapist is be, having a therapist is not something that is very accessible. Is yeah. I know there are therapists in Nigeria, uh -huh. but yeah. it's not easy for you to like have like access to it. Not everybody has like access to therapy, so it's even harder in Nigeria. Almost everything in Nigeria to me can be very depressing, but then oh my god, honestly. It yeah. took me a while to like you know come out of that, put myself together. How do you feel snap like out. after you snap after out I? It? It's not like recently. Okay. It's not recently, but then then I had to you know I had to tell myself like it's okay. I feel like you have to move. I feel yeah. like you have to you know put your life back together. Mm -hmm. I was praying. I was you know having a better connection with yeah. God and. I feel like I snapped out of it after that, but then it's not always very easy for people. And one thing I'm a very strong advocate for is mental health. Like, yeah. people need to take it very serious because if you're not in a good place mentally, my dear, I don't think your physical, I don't think you're in a good place physically. Your mental control. Yes, what it's, you do on the I'm outside. I'm telling you, people take it for granted, but I do not because if I'm not mentally stable. I, my, I can't move my physical, I can't do the physical things yeah. I'm supposed to do. So I feel like it's something that people should really, you know, look out for. And in for. Nigeria, we don't care, we overlook things, we throw each other we, we Instagram, joke, every, we everything. Joke about everything. We you don't know, take care of our mental health, you it's know, really bad. It's very, very bad. I it's feel like people bad. should really, you know, take it seriously, look mm -hmm. after yourself. It's very important. It's mm -hmm. very, very important. Don't, don't neglect your mental health. And if there's anything you're doing that is affecting your mental health, please, come move out, out come out of there. Talk come to out. people. Don't keep it to yourself. Do like, understand? Help yourself. Oh. Mm. Don't go for depression. Mm. Oh, move on. Mm. We'll just do justice for. Oh well, no, ju not justice for. RIPD. Do you understand? You hurt your family. Everybody like, feel bad, and then it's not what it's about. It's not what it. Is. I remember one time mm. I was talking to somebody. Um, we were talking about depression, and then the person was like, was he was talking about it, and I was like, ah, I've been depressed before. It was not easy. It was just like. Ah, I'm very disappointed in you. How can you be depressed? I was like, where is the disappointment from? Where to where? Who who are you? On top of who your own you? depression. I don't understand. Like, who is this one? Like, instead of you to be like, oh, who made you yeah. depressed? Like, trying to even find a solution. You're, you're telling me you're disappointed. Like, where is that talk from? So that mentality, I feel like you need to throw it into the trash instantly don't be like that if somebody comes to you and they're like oh they are depressed or they are feeling some kind of weak please give them like a pep talk or help them find a solution bring them out of it it's not a good place to be in yeah. on to the next one how important is personal hygiene to you when it comes to like in a relationship how important is personal hygiene that's from your partner why would you be a clean person must it's not everybody that is clean now then don't come to me. Oh, meet your fellow piglets. Chee -chee. Meet your piglets. Chee -chee. Why you coming? Don't come to me. Why you coming to me? Am I smelly? Oh, Am I cheese. dirty? Mm. I move to your My people. Dear, uh, even the ones that are not it, we get not married. Why would you come to me? It's just like saying, um, it's just like saying, uh, if you're sure, don't come to me. You just want to marry now. Who will marry them? I should have told you. I'm sure you're not going to talk. You're not going to talk. It's not the affair. 
<laughs> their shots. Why? <laughs> I feel like personally, it's very important. Yeah. Personal hygiene mm -hmm. is very important. Very, very important. Very, very important. I feel like my personal hygiene is. If I say maybe now my personal hygiene is 10 over 10, I don't think maybe I'm hyping myself. But my personal hygiene. Okay, let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just see. Let me just. So that I will not sound like, oh. Okay, my personal hygiene is 9 over 10. Um, if I'm a, I don't know how to speak. If I do have a CD. <laughs> do you have a CD? Just so, put this here. No, 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 just clean. Let me clean it for you, don't worry. Like, hey, oh my God, God, God. Wait, let's not, let's not, not about CD. CD. Not CD. It's not about CD. Wait, it's, it's not about, it's wait, wait. Not, it's 20 over 10. It can't be 9 over 10. Uh, uh, it's, not, it's not about me. Wait, wait let, me, let me finish. Let me okay. finish. Let me finish. So it's more like, okay, let me just say 10 over 10. If I'm, let me say, a 10 over 10, for mm -hmm. example, um, I'll be okay with a partner that is, um, maybe seven. No, yeah. if you're like a five mm -hmm. or six, I can work with that because okay. in the long run, I feel like there will be a change. Like, yeah. uh, normal, normal. Even if me and you, as friends, we are living together. Mm -hmm. Before you know, you there are some things I can be doing that are things that you do. Like yeah, you start acting like knowing. me, I start acting like you, mm -hmm. even without knowing. So Maybe the kind of things that you would say, I would just say mm -hmm. like ah, this girl, so something like yeah. that. So I feel like that's how it is. I can deal with it because I feel like not all men are hundred percent yeah hygienic. Hy hy hygienic as a woman would be. Mm -hmm. So men, they will come, they throw their clothes on the floor. Before you know it, yeah. you start to put it in. The What's it called? Dirty basket. Yes, you start putting it there. Yeah. Do you understand? So I feel like in the long run, the person will start to, you know, blend. That's how, aside from hygiene, I feel like it's like that in general. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, when you start to live with somebody, it's completely yeah. different from, um, um, you know, seeing the person and going home. Yeah. As in, you go mm -hmm. see what you never see before. This hygiene topic, what is something that a person is doing that you cannot tolerate at all? Pain on the toilet seat. Why? <laughs> I understand that it's not that easy for you guys, but... How is it not easy? Get, okay, like clean like up. after pain, not yeah. cleaning all yeah. the whole place. There are things like that, but then that it all boils down to the fact that I said if you maybe complain about it or oh, I don't, uh, yes. Also, I saw something on um one lady's page on IG and she was talking about don't settle for somebody that is unteachable. Somebody that is like my yes is my yes. So my no is my no. Oja you piano. cannot bend me. Oja Oja Who do you think you are, sir? Rock of ages? God damn. Come on, go and sit down. <laughs> Like she said oh it and God. I agreed with her like hundred percent. Like don't marry somebody or don't settle for somebody that is on bed. You will suffer. Ah like there is no they uh, they feel like they have no flow. The way they are, yeah. they will be like that forever. You have to be open for adjustments, don't mm -hmm. you think? Yeah, you I have to be so. open. You have to be open for adjustment. You have to be open for not just for men, for women. On too. both sides. Sorry. If you're a girl, oh, oh, I'm a stubborn lady. You cannot yes. move me. You I'm cannot woke. change me. Savage. <laughs> it. It's, it's not giving. Oh, she, thought she, she thought she ate. <laughs> yeah, bad <but>, mouth. <laughs> well, I feel like oh, I feel God. like it's, it should be something that should you know you should tone it down you mm -hmm. should be always like you know ready open. to learn yes be ready to learn because you're not perfect mm -hmm. this goes to both men and women. and women it's not just oh women or it's not just men you have to buy open to make some adjustments mm -hmm. you have to be open to make some changes yeah you cannot be the same person it's not possible, it's not possible. you have to meet somewhere yes you, you have, have to, to compromise meet. yes you have to compromise mm -hmm. because you guys even brothers and sisters, you and your sister, you guys have this understanding. Exactly. This is somebody that you are born with. This is somebody mm -hmm. that you grew up with. And then you guys still have this understanding. Imagine somebody, somebody that you don't even know from anywhere. anywhere. 
Uh, uh, a sister, brother, stop it. Leave that stop on there. It's for the devil. Stop it. Please. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's almost as if you don't even want it to work. It's almost as if you are not interested. Like, if you're not ready to put in the work, just don't, let it go. Let it go. Don't suffer the poor guy or the poor lady. Poor lady. Leave it's them. your coconut head. Almost everybody has coconut head. Yeah. Me, I have some places that definitely we all have flows. Do you okay. understand? The only thing is acknowledge that you have a flaw and be willing to work on it. Nobody is hundred percent perfect. Nobody will say okay, there's every they do everything perfect. But it's not mm -hmm. possible. And be willing to like um learn, learn, be willing to adjust, you know, mm -hmm. and make everything work. Hey guys, I think we have come to an end of this session. Do, do, do. <laughs> And I had a very nice time talking I to you. She's so she wants to start the YouTube channel, so I'll be adding her handle. Please, you guys subscribe to her channel. Please, Follow this Anna Brown baby. <laughs> See what is the one of our girls? We it's are fine. fine. Ah, Come close, let me tell you. We are fine. Period. We are fine. Period. Example. It's the Lord's doing. Lord's doing. <laughs> Lord's doing. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. If you want this video to this point, God bless you. I owe you a kiss. God bless you. I owe you a kiss. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. See you on the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>